All right, Baru is here, so it's time to go over his inventory. Uh, he's got some pretty interesting stuff this time, some stuff I really didn't expect to see. Uh, that is a color palette, a Katir color palette, and a profile icon for him. Which is some really strange stuff, but I appreciate the cosmetics. A color palette is about the last thing I expected him to bring us, but I do appreciate it. There are going to be some good colors in here, uh, and this is very, very cheap, so... Hard to complain about. Other than that, we've got Prime Target Cracker, which is a staple on all of the crit secondaries. Uh, and then we have some ammo mutations, which I feel like are really overkill. But, I mean, if you're, like, mainly a comb user, maybe you have use for the Prime Shotgun ammo mutation. Uh, and there's a couple of rifles where Prime ammo mutation might make sense. But I think these are a little too expensive in terms of their uh, endo and duke cost to really get um, if you don't have extra. Prime Target Cracker, though, very useful. We've seen it quite a bit, of course, but it remains very good. Uh, other than that, we've got the Detron Mara, which is really weird to say because they changed what that is, um, which is okay. It's fine. Uh, it's nothing too special. I don't really think it's 500 Duke it's worth, uh, but, I mean, it's here. It's mastery. Um, it just, like... It's just okay. If you really like shotguns and you want to have a shotgun as a primary, a secondary, and also carry a redeemer around, hey, this is a shotgun thing, but yeah, I think the Brack is probably still better than this. Other than that, we got the Edo armor, the full set. Uh, I'll be picking up the knee plates and then we'll show off that uh, entire set. And then we have a three day resource booster, so if you're farming a resource, it's a good thing to pick up. Uh, pretty good inventory overall, so uh, let's go look at this stuff. All right, so here we are, and this is the armor, as you might expect. Uh, but because we have a color palette to go over, uh, let's look at that. Uh, it is pretty similar to the ice palette. Um, it has a lot of blues in it, a whole lot of blues, cobalts, whatever you want to call them, whatever this, like, uh, dark-ish green. I don't know what to call this. Uh, and then lots more blues down at the bottom, but it does have this nice uh, sets of brown in here, so that's pretty good. Maybe that would be good on maybe like a Mesa's coat material, perhaps. Uh, a good selection of colors, pretty good, especially considering it's so goddamn cheap from him. I don't really think there's much of a reason to not pick this up, because it's not like this is all just one color or something. Um, so yeah, if you don't have a lot of color palettes, no reason not to nab that, unless you really hate blue, in which case, eh, maybe it's not for you. Otherwise, though, we have the full Prisma Edo set, which is pretty nice. I'm not a huge fan of the legs, which is why I hadn't picked them up until now. Uh, and it's also worth noting uh, that if we back out here real quick, these things also, you can see when you slide, they generate a shield. This this activates whenever you get shot, too, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, so, that does that. So, if you're wondering about any other cosmetic effects, you won't be able to see them when we're switching around the colors. So, I figured I'd show them now. Uh, and, uh... See how this stuff looks. x color, colors. And then... There you go. Uh, yeah, they take color pretty well. Uh, these are really nice. I think that these are pretty much just raw upgrades to the shoulders based on the um, the regular ones, which I think color pretty poorly, the regular Edo shoulders. Um, otherwise, though, these are nice. Uh, the leg armor, I think, is a little too wide for a lot of the Warframes, personally, but still good uh, with the right coloring setup. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, with that, I guess it's time for us to move on over to console and see what they got today. All right, welcome on over to console. So... Some good stuff going around. We got the Katir leg plates, which I think look quite nice. We've shown those previously. Primed Ravage. This is very, very good for the Vakor Heck. And if speculation is to be believed, it will be very good for the new shotgun, which is rumored to be a critical hit shotgun. But that's not confirmed, so I would encourage you not to buy it for that if you're going to get it. This is pretty cheap, though, so worth getting in my book. Uh, beyond that, other things that are definitely worth getting, Prime TD Charge, this is a very, very good mod. Uh, just a shit ton of raw damage on the weapons where you just want more raw damage, for example, Deluxe a lot of the time. Uh, then, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Other than that, the best mod here, Prime Breach. It's pretty nearly unquestionable. Prime Breach is outstanding. Some of 
Yeah, well, pretty much all of the best melee weapons in the game would really like to have a primed reach on them. Uh, because just that big AoE clear that you can get with a large variety of weapons is incredibly strong. Uh, and moving up some of the shorter weapons into the range where you would want them is really, really nice as well. This thing's fantastic. Not really much else to be said. Lizette Prisma skin is very nice. Like all the other Prisma uh, ship skins, they're all fantastic. Uh, Prisma Cliffe Sandana is alright. It's okay. Uh, I personally kind of like it on Avara myself, but it's fine. Uh, other than that, we have the Prisma Gorgon, which is decent. I don't think it's 600 Duke. It's decent, but it's fine. If you really like the Gorgon series, I think this is probably the one to use if you're going to use any of them. So get it for that if you really like the heavy machine guns. Uh, and then other than that, we have some of the Daedalus set, which these shoulders are fantastic. Chest pieces, I think, is a little bit too big, but it still looks pretty good. Other than that, we got boosters, which, as I said before, you either need the booster or you don't need the booster. It's one or the other. If you're going to do a bunch of leveling, you get the affinity booster. If you're going to grind a bunch of resources out, you get the resource booster. That's basically as far as it goes. Uh, and, yeah. Pretty much all there is to it. This is a pretty good haul, though. Like, these are really solid prime mods. And then, of course, getting the new cosmetic for you guys, which I believe this is the new cosmetic for you this week, almost assuredly, uh, is really, really good. So, nice to see console getting some stuff. So, with that... I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back soon. Oh, also, uh, I just remembered. Uh, I I'll be streaming in a bit here. Uh, we're going to do some raid prep and stuff like that. Uh, and maybe for honor a little bit later on in the night. So uh, head on over to the Twitch uh, if you want to see that stuff. I just recently got Twitch partnered, so it's been kind of just an ongoing celebration this week. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I will see you guys there.